and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Fizz. Going to be our next deck. This is, you know, like my probably my favorite Fizz deck, the one that I think is the most powerful. I love playing Starlet Seer decks. You know, like we have Omen Hawk, Starlet Seer, buffing up our stuff. And we're going to be trying to win with the Elusives, of course. Fizz, Zap Spray Fin, Slippery Wave Rider, even Go Golden Narwhal getting a little bit of damage in for us. So we're going to try to be buffing up those um, Elusives with all of our spells with Starlet Seer and you know, even Shared Spoils in there. Um, then we have the backup plan of Twisted Fate and leveling up Twisted Fate that happens sometimes with Salvage, Spray Fin, Shared Spoils, stuff like that. And we also even have Battle Fury um, that can be uh, awesome on any of our Elusives and of course on a Fizz. So that's what our deck's about. Um, let's go play our five games in Ranked and we're going to see how we do. Here we go. Alright, playing against Heimer 5. So we have three Brittle Steals in this deck because it's a really cheap spell to help out Fizz. But I do, I'm starting to kind of think that maybe one of the three Brittle Steals should be a Flash Freeze. Be like, maybe we can't keep two four mana cards. But I like the card draw. I think like this is this is a matchup where we, you know, we need to kind of rely on the card draw. So like that's why I like the Spray Fin and everything there. So I didn't want to just play Fizz and not have Elixir of Iron Protection, right? Like, I didn't want to, like, play Fizz and then they just go Thermogenic Beam, kill the Fizz. Um, I guess I'd trade Fizz for Mountain Goat. I don't like that, but, like, what's my op- my, you know, like, my option is... Like, if I don't attack, then they, they just attack immediately with Mountain Goat and then I kind of have to block. I guess I'd trade. Best case scenario would have been them, them not blocking and I shared spoils. Ah! Brittle Steel. Could have had you to help the Fizz and then block the Mountain Goat with that. All right, start drawing some cards. So it lets us use that one spell mana that we get to refill with the blue card. Soak it in. Let's see here. Tough swinging them big fists around, Vi. Stick around. Yeah, I wish this was Flash Freeze, <laughs> right? I want to play something right now while, while my Starlet Seer is in play, right? And um, I guess the Wave Rider? No, maybe the Shared Spoils. Because the Shared, well, the Shared Spoils could be a card draw. Get the Wave Rider back. Oh, an auspicious season. I don't think I'm going to play the Omen Hawk right now because I'm just going to keep the extra mana because, you know, we're, we're drawing three fleeting cards. We're going to want to try to be able to play those three cards. Six out of eight. We're so close to leveling up the Swiss of Fate. We could, do, we, could, we could make it seven. We can't make it eight, though. Another reason why that Pell Cascade was really, was really bad for me, of course, was because um, the Vi has four health now. Like, if they didn't have that Pell Cascade... I would not have been for health. Oh boy, here I go. Wanna see a trick? Hmm. 
All right, well, we're out of Omen Hawks. That's another good thing is that like the buffs that we're doing, we can't hit Omen Hawk anymore. Shared Spoils is a good draw. Surprised they're letting me block there. Probably means another um, thing that does one damage to two things. They probably have just another one of those. Hey, welcome back, Michael. Another one of those salvages, that would be nice. Uh. Gonna keep these harsh winds uh, for whenever they're attacking. And not much difference between keeping Warning Shot or keeping Brittle Steel. I don't want to play the Fury of the North. I don't want them to know, you know, I don't want them to think that their life total is less than what it is. We'll just play that Warning Shot. And, you know, I get to chum the waters. Fizz help making me blockers. Yeah, yeah, Tom Lux is really difficult to play. That one's difficult to play for sure. be a miracle if Fizz can pull this off <laughs> with all the stuff they have. It'd be quite the game if Fizz can pull this off. Think of what the problem was with with blocking, and uh, yet yeah, didn't really think about Vault Breaker. I'm reading our levels up. They shouldn't have anything that's two mana deal or three mana deal four damage. Um, I don't think so. I so, you know, I don't have... While I don't have Fizz protected right now, I think that we're okay. So I could go red card and kill three of their attackers. I think I'd rather have a spell. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. So I'm going blue card. Blue as the serpentine. They would just they can just replace those things fairly easily anyway. So I don't want to do that. Looks like trouble. I'm ready. I want the fizz to hit them, so that means I have to use brittle steel or elixir of iron. Which one would I rather use? This would be a good win. 
I guess the elixir of iron like this. This will have Fizz be elusive. We'll be able to create another Chump of Waters. So that's their second star shaping. So we know that they have two awesome invoke cards in their hand. Sharky, Sharky. It's possible I should just pass and see if they play another Heimerdinger for me to get vulnerable, but I just don't think that they will. I think it's better just to get a fourth blocker in play, get another Starlet Seer ability. I think it's just too likely that I pass, they pass, kind of thing. That could be good. That would be 13 for Fizz next turn. I do think that the people playing this um, Vyheimer deck, I think that they really overrate this Spring Guardian. Okay, well, I mean, Living Legends is busted, but at least they only get four cards and it also took, like, three of their spell mana, so, like, they only get four cards. I hope they get a bunch of... Yuck. Maybe not. I was gonna say, I hope they get a bunch of um... units. But now they're just down to one mana. So, I think I just have to have my Fizz die. I think we have to trade with Battle Fury, which means Easy. Fly away while you can. Best not ruffle our feathers. Oh, that's that's still me taking nine. So I gotta block like this, then I take eight. Right, because because harsh winds doesn't because they have the spell shield, so I can't harsh winds that. So I guess I have to battle fury, which means that the probability of us winning is is super low, with them having lots of cards and stuff. But I just don't think I have a better option. Um, this might as well block over here and this block over here. This would be a good winter. So I really hope we draw salvage and refill our hand. We need a lot more cards than what we currently have. We need to draw a lot of cards. Salvage. Wave Rider. Well. It's an 8 elusive at least. Stop with all this invoke stuff. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Lady Luck is smiling. Back heretic. Yeah, I didn't have. I know they, they have Mystic Shot and stuff like that, but I mean, I didn't have a, any way to keep Twisted Fate alive. Um, you know, besides, like I could have, I could have had Twisted Fate block, like the. Five power, and I would have stayed at six, but then they would have kept a, a six-two in play, and my twisted fate would have been dead, and that's that's just not a very good way to win. I just have to hope that between harsh winds, blocking with these, maybe we can, can kill, keep slippery wave rider. Maybe that kills them. Who knows? That's that's all I can hope for right now. That was a poor draw. Tough swinging them big fists around, Vi. Stick around. I'll show you. That was a poor draw. Because that's not even like another blocker. Like, if they just play another unit, I'm dead. Freeze! Oh, an auspicious season. Yeah, 
have Vice Vault Breaker. I had four Vi's in that game. So many Vi's. Didn't see that coming. I have a playlist with each region that splits those up. All right, so Tom Kench Soraka is definitely going to be a matchup where we're going to need to rely on our elusives. They're going to have a lot of blockers. We need our elusives to be large and block a bunch and stuff like that. So Omen Hawk is usually like almost always. I would just keep Omen Hawk on turn one, but I am. I'm definitely considering mulliganing it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to actually mulligan it because it's, you know, not an elusive. And I think that the elusives are going to be super important. Yep, yep, yep. Hopefully they do not have a one mana card and we get to hit them for two. But we're never lucky. This is a pretty unfortunate hand for me. This world has such great potential. So I could like cast Troll Chant to do damage to them to turn on Shared Spoils. Ugh. I don't I don't like that use of Troll Chant. <laughs> you know, especially when they have like the box to post, the 3-1 challenger. Really, Starlet's here? You could have just been here on turn two or turn three. Like either of those. So red card would have turned on shared spoils, but I feel like gold card is going to be better here that stuns the Boxtopus, even if they have the ways to heal Boxtopus. We'll still stun it. All the Five damage? I think we can take that. Not getting any attuned value. I wish I would have gone red card. Shared spoils. No. This is the thing to do. Aggressive start for them. I've been quietly advertised. <laughs> I see taste in your future. This acquired taste is really bad for me. Appetizers of plenty. That's really bad for me. Okay. I'm happy to see that. Like the slippery wave riders, much more important. Hey, the hand. Can't say no to fizz. Good. Be at peace. Should have stayed home, pal. Take a So basically, can we pull off like a playful trickster kill this next turn? So we're gonna have eight total mana. I'd like to draw like a warning shot. With purpose. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Hmm. It's a warning shot something that I get to play. Oh, an auspicious season. Not warning shots. Alright, so I attack four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They take nine, go to seven, and then they eat my wave rider. And then I have five damage. So put them down to two. I need to attack with the seer so I can play full trickster with the seer. I 
there's a lot of things that can go wrong for me, including Hush. Uh, but even like best case scenario, we're only putting them down to down to two, like I said. Go no further. This will be a good winter. <laughs> no! And so that's something that went very wrong for me. Not over yet, though, because we're probably not dead this very next turn. <laughs> no, you're not at all, Chi Chi. Oh, I don't require a menu. The river always provides. Where are you off to? Cool, I like having another troll chant. Easier to protect Fizz. We needed another elusive. Take heart. Live with purpose. Oh, an auspicious season. The deck draws so many cards. Probably gonna have to cast the shared spoils to keep this thing from eating my fizz. Put me in, Tommy boy. Oh, I'll be happy to accommodate. Oh, yeah, there are fourteen. What you got? All right, swallowing that thing. Plenty of room inside. So levels up, Tom Kench obliterates. The other three cards could have played the shared spoils to get an, an additional plus one plus one on something, so you know, give something plus two plus two. But I think it may be more important to keep the mana for next turn, so you know, like we'll salvage at the beginning of next turn and have that only cost two mana. And then still have a decent amount of mana after that. Wrong house. <laughs> Alright, 23. That is going to be game. GG's. Are we. Are we actually 1 and 1 or are we 0 and 2? I don't remember. Did I just. Did I just put a, a win for us? I don't I don't know if I did or not. I like the hand. I like Starlet Seer. A couple of ways to protect Starlet Seer. Um, and then salvage to, you know, get some card draw going. <laughs> Thanks, Choo Choo. Brittle Seal is awesome against Katarina. I, guess, I think they're going to have like the two mana 5 1 challenger. Yep. And so Brittle Steel is good against that. problem here is I don't have anything that's large enough to, like now that Katarina is a 4-3 like that's that's really annoying because I don't have anything that can block and kill Katarina I, I just don't have anything large enough I guess I let them do I let them level up Katarina then Violence. 
solves everything. Because, yeah, like, the plus one, plus one goes away, so it's still a 4-3, so I could still get to Brittle Steal it the next time. So I know ideally I would have I would really want to use that to counter Blade's Edge. But it's just too I think it's too risky to have them where they could they could just pass turn and I would just waste that mana. And I, I thought that, that was too risky. I didn't I really didn't want to waste that mana. But maybe I just should have. Many tribes under and Hearth Guard's a 5-5. Five five. Go red card. Who says I don't share? Not gonna let them block with the Omen Hawk. All or nothing. These stories were true! So my instincts are telling me just to go pick a card, put the Golden Narwhal back. That's what my instincts are telling me. Oh, an auspicious season. I'm gonna try that. Today we fight as one. Seven. They're gonna go Katarina attack again. Let the blood shed begin. Yep. I'm through waiting. Okay. Oh, I guess I have to. I have to block with Fizz. This will be a good winter. Oh, I could have saved Fizz. I didn't realize Fizz was going to level up. I could have saved Fizz. That's all right. Okay, we're going to be drawing it. Four cards here. Uh, unfortunately, only one of those cards does anything. These two cards don't do anything. But good news is I have a Harsh Winds for their next attack. Oh, do they have just two man? Oh, they had just two mana left after playing this. Oh, I should attack for five. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? So we're going to. So you're a five five. You can block the four four. Seven seven can block the five five. Two two can block here. We harsh winds. This thing and. Um, I guess I could do the five two, and that would try to keep everything alive. Twisted Fate, though, is at 6 out of 8. Yeah, with 2 mana left, I should have attacked with, with my Twisted Fate. Because I couldn't Brittle Steal it anymore. Blessed by snow and stars. So that, like, they could be at 7, or they would have had to block with one of these, which would have made my Harsh Winds even better. Alright, I'm hoping they didn't just top deck a, a 
Frostbite card. Looks like trouble. I guess if they did top deck a harsh winds, it would make sense to attack. All right, GG's. Slippery Wave Rider getting on in there. We are two and one. Outplayed. Almost got there, but not quite. All right, let's play some ramp. I kind of want to keep the warning shot to protect Fizz. I guess we'll do that. Protect Fizz from the two mana one damage things. Warning Shot does not stop Avalanche. Avalanche is a, you know, Avalanche Ruination, and those kind of cards don't target. They just, Avalanche just does two damage to everything. Done, but I don't really Never think that I mind taking feet. four damage. I want a blue card. Blue the Look for like some uh, protections, like elixir of irons and and uh, troll chants and things like that. Bow to your king. Let's just block with this. Maybe that's the best thing to do. Block with that. Hopefully Elixir of Iron. Okay, good, Elixir of Iron. So I want to salvage first so that I get the one mana with the Attune, because right, if I play that first, then, then we don't get that mana. That was the whole point of what I was doing there. Twisted Fate is at 5 out of 8 now, so they're probably pretty scared of Twisted Fate. counter that. I want to keep Elixir of Iron to be able to uh, protect from, you know, like Avalanche and things like that. Brittle Steel is only on enemies with three or less health. I can't, I can't even cast Brittle Steel. Even if I want to. I'm not allowed to. Fates at six, and I don't have any more card draw. But like this is a matchup that I was talking about, the, like at the beginning, whenever we we're uh, going through the deck, that maybe I shouldn't have three brittle steels. Maybe I should have you know one flash freeze, two brittle steels. The last one that we just played though, that we just won, brittle steel was amazing in that matchup, and that was you know a really key it's part of us winning that game. Were the brittle steels? Oh no, Trundle's Icequake. I kind of forgot about that card. So I can... I can save one thing with Elixir of Iron. Sprayfin's gonna die to the Trundle anyway, so it's not gonna be the Sprayfin. And I I guess it's... So it's either Fizz or Twisted Fate. It should pro... I mean, Twisted Fate's so close. But then again, the Fizz with the Elusive... Let's see, we're looking at like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're looking at basically killing them with the Elusives. I don't know. I'll save Twisted Fate, but I could see that, you know, that could maybe not work for me. Yeah, I could go third Troll Chant instead of a Brittle Steel also. It's 
a good call. Could do that. Three. So two out of these five cards cost eight plus mana. Hmm. Nothing that draws a card. As far as Twist of Fate's concerned. So the problem with playing Golden Narwhal, of course, is Ruination. So like if I go Golden Narwhal, they go Ruination. We are pretty dead. I can at least get an attack in first. Which it makes more sense to do like this. Nope. Just like this. I can at least get four damage in first before a ruination. For the last couple of turns, you know, we just haven't done anything, and this is just such a bad Brittle Steel matchup. So that's gotta be game, right? So yeah, these all these are all overwhelm. Brittle Steel not doing anything. That's 28 overwhelm. Don't think I can stop 28 overwhelm. Nope. I mean it's even more than that, because then those things get buffed up. I think that's a pretty good matchup for me, but kind of today's going didn't didn't do very well. All right, back to this matchup. This is a matchup where again the brittle steels could be very clutch. This is a good brittle steel matchup. Let's mulligan them all. Okay, I like that we have brittle steel. Um, I would like Omen Hawk into Starlet Seer. Yeah, it's it's really difficult for mid-range to compete with Feel the Rush. Feel the Rush is kind of killing mid-range. I'll cut them apart. You're mine. That card is way too powerful. Because if I, if I red card, I put these at 2 health, but my Golden Narwhal is vulnerable, so they just attack with Ash, Frostbite it, and challenge. So yeah, I can't. So I, I got a gold card here. I'm always up for a round or two. Hold it, partner. Yeah, I, I also agree, Mama Man. I really hope that they don't just add cards like this again. How they added that, that card. Or, uh, like those, these KDA cards. I really hope they don't do that again. Hmm. Just got rid of that salvage. That was a card that I would have loved to see. Would have loved to draw more salvages. I don't mind that. I know that you know, my Twisted Fate's kind of close to leveling up, but it wasn't going to necessarily be leveled up. But we just took their entire turn and six mana to trade for them to trade two cards. Right? Like, I, I don't mind that at all. Um, let's play that. This will be a good winter. Oh, 
Hopefully this thing costs one or two mana, whatever we find. I, I could play Sprayfin, which would let me share its spoils, but I, I need to Brittle Steel. Which I guess I don't have to Brittle Steel. Okay, so let's do this. They'll give me that extra mana so I get to share its spoils. So we'll just block there. And so I could have used Brittle Steel to keep my Zap Sprayfin alive, but instead I'll uh, do this and draw a card. And pump things up. Another Reckoning would definitely be problematic, right? Like if I go, if I try to go like Fizz, attack. Oh, I guess, never mind, because we can, we can turn Fizz into being five power. By just casting a spell. Carved from the savage cold. Nice! Still hit them for one with Fizz. That'll create the Chum of the Waters. We'll be able to play Chum of the Waters, get a nice 5 2. Oh, I. Never mind. I won't be able to play Chum of the Waters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. We had to spend a mana on that other thing, but still, we got to Chum of the Waters. It was right on my tail! Yeah, and the, the, di the big difference between War Mothers and Feel the Rush is that War Mothers. One, it's it's a slower card, right? It's a slower burn. So yeah, it's it's easier to go underneath it whenever you're attacking. But then it also it's also a little bit more random where you know you can you can get you know just smaller units instead of instead of champions. Uh, two and then three, it also kind of rest restricts your deck building because of that. Like you you really can't play very many units to go along with War Mothers because you know you don't want to just be getting like your O fours and two ones and all that kind of stuff over and over. So it does it restricts your deck building. And then, uh, so like all of that, all of, like that restriction of deck building helps other decks go underneath it also. And then finally, it doesn't, it doesn't make them just 10 tens immediately. You know, like it, it just puts regular, regularly sized units into play. So all of that together. All that together just makes the closeout speed much more potent. Dang. So close. Yeah, so that's Seven mana. I need eight for Battle Fury. That was so close to like the perfect draw. A chill in the air. Stop playing Ice Veil Archer. So of course, we're challenging here. Really hope no culling strike. Let's 
It's gotta be game, right? But basically, the best I can do is frostbiting two things. Brittle stealing another. And then... Um... You know, double troll chant. But obviously we, we're taking... Nine damage still. We're at five. The old nine to five. Man, another one four. I am just cursed on rank up Sundays, aren't I? It's just been like the last two months of Alright, rank up Sunday. We're gonna play like these are all these are all decks we went four one or better the last time that we played them. And they looked really good, and then, uh, you know, we play them again on Sunday, and we go one and four. I think the only thing to maybe change is, is like, the Brittle Steel, like I was saying, of, like, either either playing another Troll Chant or playing a Flash Freeze. Um, that's, that's probably the only place to, to probably change something. So maybe, like, another, like, Troll Chant. Um, you know, if you want. But I, I like the rest of the deck still. It's just... You know, we have some variants. You know, like last, you know, last time our deck looked great, we went four one. This time, you know, went one four. It's you know, does your opponent have the cards that that are good against you at the time? Do you draw the the pump spell that you need? Do you get the elusive you need? You know, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's just that's the way games go in a card game. Um, doesn't mean that you know, like last time, whenever we go four one, doesn't mean we have the best deck. One four doesn't mean that our deck's terrible. Anything like that. That's just how it is. Because, yeah, you just kind of need your cards to go well. Like, I remember, like, last time, like, Golden Narwhal being, like, two mana worked out really well for us in multiple spots. I remember last time Omen Hawk was really good for us being, you know, being one mana Omen Hawk that, you know, then we were getting, like, bigger Narwhal, Starlet Seer, Sprayfin, stuff like that. You know, this this time we, you know, we didn't, like, see Narwhal until, like, that last game, and it wasn't, it definitely wasn't good with, like, the Vulnerable. Um... You know, it was pretty slow, and, and uh, Omen Hawk, we were drawing lots of Omen Hawks in the late game, and, like, none on turn one. You know, that's that's just how that's just how it goes sometimes. So, Mama has a decent, good suggestion here of maybe some Citrus Courier that could help you attack again with your Elusives. I could definitely see that. I'm not sure exactly where we would fit that in. I think that from just kind of like looking at everything that we have here i think the two cards that are the most changeable are omen hawk and golden narwhal because i like i like basically all the spells that we're playing in here and i like the the rest of the units um i think that so i think that these are like the cards that are the, the cards that are the most able to change so you know like if you want to play some citrus courier maybe over some omen hawk you know like oh like two omen hawk one courier or the other way around that's something you could definitely do. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's anyway, that's Twisted Fizz. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.